Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. This will be the first video, first episode of series about device owner on Android platform. Uh, in this first video I will show you how to uh, set device owner and clear device owner and I will talk about a couple of uh, possibilities what you can do with the device which is which has device owner by some application uh, so the first step you need to do is you need to have a rooted device uh, developer options must be on and then you can basically you can start with the process uh, what you need to do is make a class a class that will extend device admin receiver you can name it any any way you want and this class is used for handling device administration tasks uh, this is the method you need to implement on profile provisioning complete and this method is called when the provisioning of managed profile is completed it sets a profile name and then launches uh, activity it should launch a launcher activity which is this one in my case uh, with the of course with the flag for a new task this here is this class and we need to also by context we need to get system service which is a device policy manager i also added that two methods here on disabled and on enabled which basically uh, when device administrator is activated it will print line this this in log cat and also when we clear device owner then this line will be executed okay after that uh, we need to register this broadcast receiver in android manifest as you can see here this is the name typically the pack package and class name Description and label are just uh, strings app name. Permission is bind device admin. It is exported. Uh, metadata, they are, they are here. Uh, they specify that the receiver is device admin receiver by setting this, this device admin attribute to a reference to reference a resource you also need to add resource file in xml and it then filter is here for that the receiver can respond to to add to action when basically when when device admin is enabled uh, this method will be executed uh, also what you need to add is a xml file with all the possible with all the possibilities that you want to that you want to do when you have a device owner we will talk about this uh, this file later on in some some of the next episodes okay now we are in activity uh, activity has a two buttons clear device owner and this is a reboot device we will we'll try to reboot the device once we have a device owner enabled okay uh, the first step we need to do is define some variables private latinate var 
admin component name, which is of type component name. And the second one is device policy manager. This one here. Okay, we need to initialize them here. Admin component name, component name of first parameter is context. And the second one is our class that extends device admin receiver. So this one here, class.jar. And device policy manager, we can get by get system service, context context dot device policy service and as device policy manager. If we want to clear the device owner, uh, we need to check is device owner. So if this app has already set the device owner, device policy manager is device owner, component name, package name. If is if it's not we will just just show a toast message not device owner and if we want to clear it we need to call device policy manager clear device owner and for the package name, also we need to pass admin component name, package name. And we can also show a toast message that says device owner clear. Okay, uh, how to set device owner? You need to open your terminal CMD window, position yourself to CD library Android SDK platform tools. Uh, this is of course, if you are on Mac, if you are on Windows uh, laptop, then you need to go to CD update a local Android SDK platform tools. But I assume that you already know that. Uh, here, when, when we are in, at, at this platform tools, uh, we need to execute a method. I wrote it here. This is adb command to set a device owner on package name dot the name of your file that extends device admin receiver. I just need to add this because I'm on Mac device. Okay. As we can see the message, it is a success. Device owner is set. We are now device owner of this uh, emulator. Uh, there are two ways you can uh, clear it. One is by adb command and the other one is what we wrote here programmatically uh, with Kotlin code. Okay, if you want to uh, clear it with uh, adb command, you just need to say here remove remove active admin and now admin is removed uh, we will uh, set device owner one more time 
so now we can do it we can do it with a button in, inside activity The second button is to show you when you are a device owner. Just a second, I need to clean project. Okay, this app. So the second button is uh, when we already set the device owner on the on this Android device then we will uh, by this button we will restart the device we can only do that when we have a device owner uh, so I, now i will show i will click clear as we can see device owner is cleared the second time when i click on this button this device is not device owner okay uh, we will set it one more time and now we can try to do this. This is something really interesting. So device policy manager, we can reboot and we need to pass admin component name. I will run the app one more time. have some problems with running okay now when we click on this reboot device the device should restart the whole Android system and it works Uh, that's it for this episode. In one of the next episodes, we will try to programmatically uninstall some application from the Android device and a lot more, a lot more interesting stuff what we can do. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.